Howdy everybody, it's Brian here. Uh, just wanted to do a little a spotlight for you, some quick ideas to improve your trading and investing. Uh, just something I came over this weekend and I thought it was very, very timely. So let's just jump right into it and see what the spotlight's all about. So quickly here, we want to also have our risk disclosure here. Uh, there is a risk of loss when trading any type of securities, including futures, forex, and options can be substantial and is not for every investor. So again, you've got to appreciate and understand the risks before entering trades. You can find this risk disclosure at camelcharts.com forward slash disclosure. Please have a read on that first and feel free to ask us questions prior to placing your trade. So here we go. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to come right into the live trading platform and we're going to start off uh, with, with a look at monthly candles. So quite significant uh, and again a lot happens within a month uh, and we're going to look at V here which is Visa. As you know, over the last few years, the market has just absolutely been uh, trending to the upside. It's been beautiful. Uh, and then look at that. we had a little pullback there, a little rise up, and another pullback down to our 20 period moving average. And now we've come back up again over the last two months. We'll forget this last candle here uh, because March has only just begun. Now let's dial in here. We want to take a look at our weeklies. We get a little bit more information, a little bit more detailed information. If I pull this over and... Uh, yeah, look at that. So again, here's the all-time high, which would be about right there. So we're not quite hitting that. But there's a couple of things that we want to take away from these pictures. And we're going to get into the daily, so just hang tight here. Uh, again, we've come down nicely. Nice chop. And again, boom, we had a very, very large and forceful uh, piercing pattern. And sure enough, yet yeah, the market came up strongly, a little bit sideways, and up strongly again. Uh, so let me just clean that off. We want to put on a couple more lines for you, make it interesting and fun. So here, we're going to put a little bit of a blue line right there. And if we match that over here to the bottom of this lower shadow here on that candle, uh, then all of a sudden we start to see, well, here, I'll put another line this way. That's basically where we've closed out uh, this past week. Again, still forceful green candles. Uh, we're well above the nine period moving average. There's the 50 coming up. So the nine's above the 50, the nine's above the 20, and the 20's above the 50. This is a bullish market at this point in time. Uh, but again, we're looking for potential turning points, uh, signs of risk, and certainly on this chart, outside of the stochastics being at uh, you know significantly high, 97, uh, the market is still looking very bullish. But again, we have to consider and we have to appreciate that, hey, this all-time high back here, we're, we're quickly approaching, and again, that's going to act as some kind of resistance. Whether we immediately blow through it or not, well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so again, we'll just zoom out there. You can see there's the all-time high, and that was from that upper shadow. And this is kind of what I wanted to show you here. Pull this back a little bit. We had a high wave candle there, and what do we have today? So again, let me grab the spotlighter. This this is where it gets fun. So again, we see the market had been trending up and we got this high wave candle, not much more than a doji, and we fell down. Did a lot of trending side. Again, there, there's another doji basically spinning top, and we fell down again. And yes, we did some retrade and we came back up. When in fact we broke through that little resistance area just above your 50 period moving average. Again, look at your moving averages, look at your Bollinger bands. Um, yeah, a little bit bigger than a spinning top here, but again, we came back down, retested support. Retested resistance again, but again, high wave candle doji, evening star, and boom, we fell down hard again. Key here is doji's high wave candles. Just have a look at that and look where they're happening. Again, Steve has always talked about candles in context. Very, very important. Uh, so again, what does that mean? Well, in context to where's your resistance, where's your support, where are your moving averages, your Bollinger Bands, you, you, know, you can include all of these good things. How are your stochastics doing? And again, stochastics here, well overbought, um, well into the 90s. And again, we had a doji, then we had the evening star. Nice confirmation, and that confirmation candle got us under the 50 period, and boom, we came down. So what? Are, so coming back here, so, we, so again, we looked at, and we drew this blue line over here from the bottom down here of the morning star, up to around the top in here, this upper shadow, replaced it down here to the lower shadow, and uh, look where it's come to. You know, we're within a couple of eyelashes at most of, of basically this potential target area. And there you go. We've got another doji happening. Uh, we, yeah, there's been dojis here. And we did pull back. And we pulled back two 
the nine period moving average. So again, yes, you see dojis, yes, you see shooting stars. And what happened next? Well, we did go up and jostled sideways and we pulled back into the nine period moving average. So what I'm suggesting here is if history is going to repeat itself, A, we've got uh, the all time record high up here which is around 152, we're not far off of that, and we're starting to see signs of potential weakness here with the doji. Again, stochastics already being high, we're at the upper edge of the Bollinger Band, uh, and we're a fair distance away from that nine period moving average. Now again, on the dailies, yes, positively stacked on the moving averages, the nine, the 20, and the 50, great, great, great. Uh, if nothing else, looking for at least sideways to maybe some little bit of pullback towards the nine period, uh, and again, every day, even if going sideways, the nine period will catch up to us. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's uh, exactly the right moment to take a down trade, a you know, maybe a put trade or shorting the market. But I am going to be watching this very closely and looking for confirmation candles like we had over here. So we had the high wave candle and it took a couple of confirmation candles, maybe even three before we got underneath the nine period moving average. And then we had the nice slope to the downside. So I'm not suggesting to take a gamble, uh, a risk. We're looking for the higher probability setups. But again, this is the precursor to a nice prob um, high probability setup trade. So uh, maybe within a few days could happen within one day where we get a very large candle that again, I'd like to see something get underneath the nine period moving average and a candle with some nice force. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But again, if we look back to here in the middle, you know, we had a nice evening star. Don't worry. Yes, it's a very forceful red candle. You did not lose money by not getting in up here, but you got in at a very opportune time that then you can take advantage of a nice move to the downside. Uh, so in this case, yeah, again, looking for some confirmation here. And as I say, candles in context, very, very critical. Uh, so again, one point here was that blue line that I've put in here. We've got other resistance over here, upper Bollinger Bands. Yeah, and we just need to see one or two more candles to sort of hopefully get us down underneath that nine period and show that the market is looking for a sell-off, at which point also, your stochastics should start to be turning down. And you might be using MACD or some other oscillator, that's fine, uh, but again, they should be set up and they should be operating in a very similar manner. So all the best, good luck with your trading, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.